Hey guys, in this video everything about the Scalar tool, so let's take it away. In this video I'm gonna discuss a plugin uh, from Plugin Boutique and the name of the plugin is Scalar. It is a score, a chord helping tool. The Scalar plugin is seen as an instrument, so I'll drag the instrument to my instrument track. Okay. When we open the plugin, it is seen as a instrument, so that means it isn't an effect plugin, it is an instrument plugin, so that means that it isn't generating sound. You can uh, select which sound you want to generate, there are a few different sounds in there. And I have to select the correct one, do you hear something? That is that I can, or do you want to hear the synth? or another synth, but let's stick to the piano for now. There is a setting window for some settings, uh, show embedded guide, tooltips, etc, uh, etc. Et uh, this is important for the MIDI note export. What you can do, and that's the reason why I bought the tool, is um, you can really easily export the MIDI notes, drag them into your timeline. That is a real time saver. Previously I used Odyssey or Odyssey or I don't know what the exact name is. That is a good tool uh, for the thing it does, uh, but there is a really quirky way of exporting MIDI files and, and saving and really weird. Uh, and you have to be online for that and if you have a hiccup in your internet connection it doesn't work, etc. This is offline so it will work. Um, Hopefully, uh, even when the when the internet connection is down. Okay, then um, we have some tooltips. I will click them uh, uh, away for now. Uh, here you can see the notes that are playing in the um, uh, on the keyboard, and then you can use this keyboard. Uh, you can even play chords. And you can see on top of here what chord is playing. Then uh, we go down into the window and in that window there is a detect. Uh, what you can do, and that is really funny and that is the other reason why I bought the tool, uh, I wanted to have something, I have some, sometimes I have MIDI notes and it takes me a while to figure out uh, in which key those notes are. This tool does that for you. For example, I drag a, a clip to my, uh, this is my track that I wanted to use. I'll um, uh, click detect and uh, there is the start button and I press start and I press start on my keyboard so the notes, the MIDI notes will play. Start. Okay, I say stop and it says to me it is probably the B, uh, A sharp minor scale or the B flat uh, minor scale. Uh, why does he think that? Because, well, there are six out of seven notes are in that scale. Uh, he didn't detect any chords. That's true because it was only a melody line. He has also some suggestions for other uh, uh, um, scales. Uh, the the D flat major scale, for example, etc., etc., etc. He does uh, a, a couple of guesses. I like that. Um, I'll clear it for now because I want to go to my skills. My gonna uh, okay. Have to switch that off. Um, I can say I want to go to the skills. I want to have. Uh, the uh, I want to select the, the skills. Um, these are all the skills that you can uh, select um, and you can filter on that. I want to have the C major, um, 
major scale, for example, that's the easiest scale. There is only one uh, that fits to that criterion. Uh, I can say C all, and then we have all the C uh, skills, and that is of course the major scale, the minor scale, altered scale, harmonic minor scale. Well, you see what is in that list, mixolydian. Those are those weird skills. Um, when I look at myself, I don't have really a lot of um, background in music, so this will help me a lot. One of the other reasons why I bought the plugin is because on the other side of, of the table there is a description and that says happy, light, bright, positive, sad, uh, emotional, sentimental, jazzy, sophisticated. That means that I, when I want to reach a certain mood in a song, I can really look this up. I don't have enough uh, music theory uh, uh, knowledge to, to do that on the top of my head. This plugin will help me with that. Um, but what I said, you can filter on that um, A minor scale, for example. Okay, then these are the A minor scale. When I uh, select that scale, it says, well, what you can do with that minor scale. There are a couple of chords in that minor scale. And you, these are the diatonic chords that are the, the chords that are really in the scale, but you can have some variations on that. Um, what you can do is you can bind the MIDI to that. So I now I play the, uh, the, the notes on the keyboard. When I do, it will play the things. That's other chord variations. You can even have some voicings, and these are the voicing suggestions. What you now can do is um, you can drag that uh, if you want to have a very uh, specific chord progression. What you can do is now drag it to uh, to the, the lower uh, part of the screen. I like this one and. want a chord variation for example I like I let's say I like this it's a chord progression of nothing but it's just to show you um, you can even set the, the octave, uh, so those are more close to each other. That's too high. What you even can do if a uh, when you get you can see on the screen what is what is doing, which notes that are playing. Uh, these are E, A, and C. When I want to have a version, so that means that uh, one of the notes is switched to uh, or above or below. Now it's switched to below, and uh, but I can switch it up if I want to. What I can now can do if I am happy with that. Let's say I'm happy with that. I can drag it to my uh, to a new track for example just click here export MIDI and drag it again to the track uh, you can set if you want you can set quarter half double uh, eighth uh, uh, whole for example and then I have a bigger um, for each note an, a new uh, chord so that's in basic what the plugin does um, there is uh, a suggestion, more suggestions for you. You can select, for example, a song. You can say, well, I want a, a, a chill song, and those are the most 
used chord progression of chords. It doesn't chord progressions for you. Uh, those are the most used chords for that uh, for that, uh, for chill songs. Um, for chill songs, we have the Dorian mode, the C Dorian mode. But when I have when I have the egg F mixolydian mode. But I can say, well, I want to do future bass. But in the C major scale. And again, behind this is jazzy, bluesy, rocky, sophisticated. <clears throat> and there are a whole bunch of, of music styles in there. And um, uh, that's something I really like. There is a artist section, for example, Carl Cox, who doesn't like Carl Cox. These are called prog uh, chords, not progression, but these are chords he uses uh, for the A flat minor scale, major scale. And I can even drag those chords directly downstairs here if I want to. I don't have to. And I can say, now let's play that chord progression. And when I'm happy with that, I can say again, export to MIDI. I don't have a new track, so I will uh, drag it onto an existing track. But you get the idea. And you can even import chord sets. So that is in a nutshell the Scalar plugin. The cost of this plugin is about 43 euros. It, it, it isn't really much. Uh, on the side it says 50. Uh, if you have a, um, uh, a, a business like me, uh, then uh, you don't have to pay the VAT. Uh, so that is somewhat cheaper for you. Uh, for that money, you have uh, really a lot. There is just one downside to the plugin. Well, it's not really a downside. It's, it's the omission of a feature. When I look at Odyssey, I really use a lot of those chord progressions that are in there. That are money chords, uh, as they call it. Those are really um, often used chords in pop songs or in really famous songs. So they prove their, their usability. That Famous chord progressions are regretfully not in this plugin. There is a plugin of, uh, of not Odyssey but Mixed in Key, and that plugin is called Captain Chords. I didn't take a look at it, I saw some YouTube movies, but I didn't take a look at it. Um, but it has some more advantages over, uh, um, over Odyssey because in Odyssey, yeah, it, it's still an online tool and that exporting so you can export MIDI. Uh, directly to your MIDI track, that is really, really handy. And um, and I, I saw that Captain Colts can do that. But for now, this plugin, um, I already said it, I, I like that you can see for the, for the scales, uh, what are the descriptions, um, uh, the, the, the happy, light, positive, bright, sad, emotional, uh, that is really handy. Um, and uh, that you can hear the chords really easily, that is somewhat yeah, more difficult in, in Odyssey, for example. But for the money, I really like the plugin and I think I will use it a lot.